All right, here we go. Okay, so welcome back to my sixth episode of Beauty by V. So today is December 1st, and I have a special bond with December, not because it's my birthday month, but it's because it's the time of giving and to reflect back of the things we have accomplished. And just because it's December and the year is coming does not mean we should stop, right? We have 30 days, 30 more days for 2019 to accomplish our dreams and um, to hustle. So with that being said, this um, sixth episode is gonna be on this eye look that I like to do during Christmas time. Uh, anytime I get to wear a bold red lip is a perfect excuse for me. And then I did this really soft glitter with brown, black um, eyeliner. And I'll be doing more looks that have to do with Christmas time. So I'm gonna be doing copper, silver, berry colors. Oh, I'm obsessed with Christmas time. So with that being said, I want to end this episode on a high note by encouraging you guys to discover what excites you. Like where do you find your energy from? And then tap into that and that's the shit. Um, yeah, so just have courage guys. Be kind. Follow your dreams. Learn about the process. Learn about you. Give because you know it's the time of the season and just because it's december we should always give out give throughout the year um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this long long episode it's like 30 minutes so i'm gonna try to learn how to cut it because i do a lot of blending because i'm not a pro on eyeshadow guys i am not good with my i met with my um with my eye makeup i'm still working on it so yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoy this look because I enjoy filming it. Yeah, love you guys. See you soon. All right, so let's get started. So like I said in my um, introduction that today I'm gonna be creating a, my um, like, I look that I like to do during Christmas time and I like to do a lot of different looks but I think red and silver is my favorite combination so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today all right so let's get started so the first thing I like to do so I already did my uh, my face my lips my brows my highlight my bronzer like I always like to do my makeup and then my eyes I always leave it last um, just because we're not working with too much glitter, we're going to be working with glitter, but that's more of like a cream based, not like a find mill um, glitter. <laughs> okay, make sure I have nothing on my teeth. All right, okay. So first things first I like to do is I like to highlight my brow, underneath my brow, and then my inner. So I like to use my... Jaclyn Hill um, palette and I like to use this shade right here her two highlighting shades So this one this one obviously as you can tell <laughs> those ones I've been using the most so I like to take this shade I believe what's this one called little lady and then I'm gonna go and highlight underneath my brow And I like to do this all the time I'm just going to go like this. I like a really intense um, highlight underneath my brow just because I feel like it lifts the brow and it lifts my face, my eyes, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see. Repeat it on this step. I go back and forth a lot. And I am using an e.l.f. brush. I don't really know what the name of it is because it already rubbed off. But I believe it's a crease brush. And I love um, e.l.f.'s brushes. I think they are underrated, to be honest. I think they were just great. Especially if you are on a budget or if you don't really care about spending money on a brush. I feel like it does the job just as well. So just like that, and then I like to take it in my 
thinner. And again, guys, I'm just looking down on my mirror I have in front of me. So I can see what I'm doing. I hope you guys can see. Hope I have you guys zoomed in enough. I don't want to zoom in too close. But just enough to see what I can doing. And hopefully everybody who's watching this. Which I know is not a lot of people, but it's okay. Um, I hope you guys when you're watching this so you can try this, doing this at home. So just like that. And I kind of look dramatic right now. I have nothing in my eyes and everything else is done. I like to really brighten the eye area. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I like to go with my eyeshadow just to give a little bit of um, color just because it looks very bland right now. And then again, this is my favorite um, transition shade or just my one solid shade that I like to use all the time. And this is by MAC. And then this is the, uh, I think it's called Soft Brown. don't really know because the, the writing came off. Okay, so I just like to go like this all over the eye in circular motions. And then this brush, it's by Morphe. It's the M330. I love Morphe. Ugh, Morphe. <laughs> Morphe um, brushes, guys. I think they are amazing for the price point. Let's be real. So circular motion. Oh my god, I can't even talk today. Motions. Circular motions. Kind of like step back. Like, okay, this look good. And then I've noticed, guys, like when I look down when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I notice that it helps me with my blending because when you just look up, it might, it might look good, but when you actually look down, it needs more blending. So just a little bit. This is my ideal shade. More, more, more of my, like, transition shade. But sometimes I love to wear just by itself. As you can tell in my other videos, pretty much all my... Um, my past five episodes, um, I have been using this eyeshadow just by itself, and I really like it. Maybe someday I'll find a different shade, but right now, this one is my favorite. And if you have any fallout, just go like this with a brush. You shouldn't have any fallout with this eyeshadow, at least I do not. And just circular motions. Don't bring it up too high. Um, if you do have small eyes, like I do, I feel like I don't have enough um, space in my eyes to put a lot of eyeshadow. So don't bring it down to, like, don't bring it up, I meant, um, too high. You still kind of want to see this highlight. That's why I like to put the highlight first to help me stop so I don't go too high. That's what I noticed whenever I'm doing my... Um, eyeshadow because that looks good kind of looks blended and then I'll go back and I'll just fix my inner corner highlight because like sometimes it disappears on me I think this lights are really bright guys let me let me turn it down a tiny bit hope you guys can see like the highlight of my eyes yeah I think it looks good so far and again just blend very gently really softly put a lot um a little not a lot a little pressure on when you are putting eyeshadow I think it gives you more of a softer blend versus a harsher blend okay so after that this eye look is gonna be really simple because I like simple eye looks because number one I don't really know how to do intense eye looks um, but a little glitter is um, amazing for doing a simple but yet still a dramatic look. And this one is by Stila. And this one's, I don't know what color because I got this in like in a gift set. So it's really tiny. But it's a white one. It's a really pretty like white silvery one. So I have to take that and I just want to put that all over my eyelid. You guys can see. And then go back. And I love these um, glitter things. What is this called? Um, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow. Yeah. 
obsessed with these. They don't give me a mess like the other ones do. But I will show you how to do more intense eye look as well. I mean, it is December 1st, so we don't want to go too dramatic on our Christmas looks. But I will be doing some pretty intense ones. Well, more glittery ones, I like to call it. Because glitter during Christmas time is my favorite. Just go like that, back and forth. Hope you guys can see. Probably not. I'm running low on this bad boy. My favorite. And again, really light and gentle strokes. We are doing eyeshadow just because it is a, a sensitive area. And this is probably an eye look that I would do maybe just to work. Um, I mean, at least for me. Nothing too dramatic, simple. Only simple for me, but. I mean, that's enough. I feel like that's, you know, I don't really have much left in this one. I have to get a newer one. Okay, so after we put some glitter, then we're gonna go with a, a darker eyeshadow. And today, I think I'm gonna use this palette oh my hair and then i'm gonna use probably this um this shade right here this um this darker shade i'm just gonna put my brush this uh, palette is very uh, has a lot of fallout but that's okay so then i'm gonna just put a little bit of more darker shade in my V, in my outer V, just a little more. And right now we're just, we're just packing the brown eyeshadow. We're not going to blend just yet. We're just going to pack it. And again guys, I am not the best at eyeshadow. It's something that I'm still working on personally, myself. I don't know why, it's just I feel like it's really, really, it's really hard to do. You have to have a lot of precision, I would say. When you're doing the, when you're doing eyeshadow. And remember guys, I'm self-taught, so everything I do, I have learned personally myself and I'm learning and I'm practicing so kind of just like that you kind of just want to blend so pack it on and then gently blend and then I know like the glitter is starting to like disappear we'll just put some more on later and just blend really gently look down and then blend Look down and blend. I'm gonna pack on some more. It's all about building when it comes to eyeshadow. Just blend, blend, blend. Oh my god, I'm getting so hot underneath these lights. All right. I think that's good. And then we're gonna go with that glitter again. Put some more on because I feel like it disappeared on us. And then we're gonna repeat that process on the other eye. A lot of fallout in this um, palette, but I think the colors are beautiful in this. So again, just pack it on in the outer V, and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna blend, blend it out. 
but start slow and then build. And then I like to go in circular motions. But to be honest guys, like makeup I feel like has no rules. I mean, you could do whatever you want. Whatever way you like to blend, blend. It's all up to you. I don't think there's a right way. I think every way is the right way. I don't know. I, I feel like it is. So I'm just going to blend. Blending takes a while, guys. It's patience. I feel like the eye makeup is what takes me the longest to do out of my whole um, routine. So if like that looks good. And then we're going to go back with our glitter by Stila. And then just fix it a little. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sniffing. I think I'm getting cold or sick. I'm just going to pack this on. Okay, I think it looks good. And then we're going to go and put some eyeliner in our waterline. So I like to um, not touch my skin and pull down. I like to use a brush. So I'm going to pull it down and then and then I'm using my favorite one, um, Pixie, and it's in the color Black Noir. And it's their Endless Creamy Eye Pencils. Um, I mentioned my... I think the brown one that is like the black cocoa on my second episode and this is the black one. I really like them because they're really really creamy. I'm making a really ugly face when I'm doing my eyeliner. So I'm gonna go like that. Oh my god, I can't stop sniffing. I mean, the reason why I'm using a brush to pull is because I don't want to mess up my makeup. Because my hands are quite, like, oily, just like the rest of my face. Um, and then normally, guys, I can do this eye look in about 10 minutes, just because I'm talking and showing. And I feel like everybody can do this. Like, you don't have to be a pro, because I'm not a pro. Um, anybody... And you don't have to use the same products that I do. You can just follow the steps if you want or adjust or make things less or more. Whatever floats your boat. And then after that, because it is, you know, pretty pretty harsh with that liner like that, we're going to put some, some brown um, eyeshadow at the bottom to kind of like blend in this liner with the eyeshadow that we have on the top. I'm just using the same palette, same color. Dip it in, and I'm using that Morphe and Jaclyn Hills brush, and it's the JH40 brush. And again, guys, I will probably mention my products that I'm using down below. Sorry, uh, let me just cross my legs. Okay, so. I'm going to start blending so everything kind of looks together. I'm actually going to put a little more eyeliner on the bottom. And then we're going to blend. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, to be honest. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. But... Just going back and forth, really gently. And I know right now, guys, it might look 
like a lot and a little dramatic, but I promise you, um, during Christmas time, you want to be dramatic. <laughs> And, you, and if you guys don't like to wear eyeliner at the bottom, skip this step. You could just wear glitter and one eyeshadow and a bold lip and a strong contour. Like, that will look amazing as well. I'm going to do different kind of looks. Um, because I like to do different kinds of eyeshadow looks during the Christmas time season. I'm going to do gold. I'll probably do copper. I'll probably just do one with like a bold lip like I'm wearing today. I'll do like a cranberry color lip. Whoa. And then um, like a softer eye look. Not so dramatic. So for those who do not like to wear a lot of eyeshadow. I'm going to do some of those too. Christmas time is my favorite time. You know why. From my intro. Um... And yeah, just keep blending. It's like never ending with eyeshadow. It can never be blended enough. Just when you think it's blended enough, it's not blended enough. Just keep blending. Keep blending. How many times can I say blending? Let's be real. I think that's good. Can't really tell. Let me zoom in on my I wish I was better at eyeshadow. I'm working on it guys. Okay, I think that is it. Alright, go back blend some more, maybe fix your brows, just debating if I want to wear liner, okay let's put some liner, um, since we're already going a little crazy with it, we might as well, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. liner. And this one is, I don't know, it has no name. It just looks like an elf liner. And then the brush looks like this. My favorite kind of liner brushes. And then um, I'm just gonna go and do like I normally do my liner. Never done it on camera, let me tell you. So this, is, this is gonna be quite interesting. And when you're working with liquid liners, you have to have a really steady hand. And I like to pull. I can't even see myself. Let me let me flip my mirror so I can see a little better. And then I like to swirl it to go back and get some more. And then, I don't know if I can do this. Let me change it back. Ugh. Just like that. Um... I think we'll do that. Okay, this should just turn out to be a lot more dramatic than I want it to be, but you know, once you start, you kind of can't, kind of slow down. 
and then go back with the other eye. If you guys are not um, a pro at liner, which I never used to be, it took me a really long time. Start with a um, a gel liner or like a pencil liner and practice in the mirror. When it comes to liners, it's all about practice. So practice when you're bored, practice when you're not, and you'll get and you'll get it. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And thing about eyeliner, what I like to say is, um, they're sisters, they're not twins. So, that looks good to me. This is looking a lot more dramatic than I want it to be, but whatever. And then I'm going to go back with the highlighter and just fix things up a little. Add more highlighter. More highlighter. And then we're going to go with mascara. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal primer. And this is the white one. It's just is going to prep my um, lashes because I don't really have full and lengthy lashes. So this is just going to help um, prep it. Almost acting like a first layer of mascara. And then I'm going to go with my favorite and oldie but a goodie by L'Oreal as well. And, and this is the Lash Paradise. I love it. Love everything about it. I don't know if you guys want to watch me do mascara. I think everybody knows how to do mascara. So I'm going to try to edit this section. There's really no special way, in my opinion, to do mascara. Because every lashes is different. Oh, and there we go. That's what happens when you have watery eyelids. Your makeup and your liner will start to run. What else is new? So repeat. Another reason why I don't like to wear a lot of um, eye makeup is because my eyes get watery so fast. I don't know what what like what I'm using because I use different products all the time. I don't know, but I've never had an eyeshadow or liner that does not make my eyes water or something. I don't know. That's why I don't, another reason why I don't like wear too much um, eye makeup. It just makes my eyes watery. I just want to have pretty lashes, a good intense highlight, and a bold lip, and call it a day. Which actually I might do a look on that as well. Can't wait to get longer lashes. I feel like lashes make everything so much more better. Like you can wear less um, eye makeup. And it'll look really good. Oh my god, my nose is dripping. I hope I'm not getting sick. All right. I feel like that's good enough. And then I'm gonna go with my bottom lashes. I'm going to be using the Lancome one. The reason why I love this one is because it doesn't transfer on to my lower eye area, which other mascaras do. This is the only one I have found that doesn't. It's not necessarily meant for underneath for your bottom lashes, but I use it for my bottom lashes because I think it's amazing.
Oh my god, my eyes are starting to water like heck. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. And I know we all make a really ugly face, like, <laughs> with our mouths when we're doing our mascara. So I'm just going to try not to make my ugly face. Alright. I think that looks good. I'm noticing I'm already starting to... Eyes are already starting to get watery. Ugh. I hate doing eyeshadow. I mean, I don't hate it. I just wish my eyes didn't water so much. They're so stinking sensitive. If you have guys, if you know any products are great for sensitive, oily eyes, please let me know. I would love to know because I only know what I know. And all right, I think that's is it. So this is a lot more dramatic than I want it to be. Um, I would say now maybe this is, would be for more nighttime. You can always intensify a little more by adding a little more eyeshadow in your V and putting more intense um, glitter if you want. Uh, so maybe this is more like afternoon going into your night and then just by adding a lot more glitter can be really um, for nighttime. But yeah, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing my eyes i know this is already 30 minutes wow it normally does not take me this long a lot at all it only takes me about 30 minutes so yeah hope you guys followed and got to know a little more on how i do my eyes